Hello guys and welcome back to George Basics. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to set up Verizon Wi-Fi Extender E3200. So in this video, I'll show you step by step what you need to do. So let's begin with the uh, wireless pairing. So first of all, you need to plug the Wi-Fi Extender into a power outlet next to the Verizon Internet Gateway and wait for a solid yellow light, guys. So you need to uh, wait the yellow light right here, as you can see in, the, in this circle, uh, here will be the yellow light. So you need to connect this power outlet right here. And now let's move to the second step. You need to press and hold, you need to press and hold the unified button, which is pair button. As you can see right here, you need to press this button. You need to press and hold on this button on the Wi-Fi extender E3200 for three seconds, then the pair button on the Verizon Internet Gateway within two minutes. Both devices blink blue while pairing. If there is an error during the pairing process, the status LED slowly flashes red for two minutes after the error occurs. Once a solid white or blinking yellow light appears on the Wi-Fi extender, it's paired. Now let's go to third step and this is very important step and you need to do it properly. Unplug the Wi-Fi extender from the power outlet, move it between the internet gateway and the weak Wi-Fi coverage area, then plug into a power outlet. If you see a fast blinking yellow light, move the extender farther away from the internet gateway. If you see a slow blinking yellow light, move the extender closer to the internet gateway. So you need to do this properly and let's go to the last step. Once the LED indicator turns solid white. So if you do this step properly, that means the setup is completed. So let's look at the first step. Once the LED indicator turns solid white, your setup is complete. This is the wireless setup. Now let's move on the wired pairing guys. The process is uh, similar, so I'm not going to read all of the uh, steps, but let's have a look on the first step. It's different uh, because we are connecting Wi-Fi extender to the router via the Ethernet cable. So this is the first step and the uh, next steps are quite similar. So that's how you can set up Verizon Wi-Fi extender. That's all I want to show you in this short video tutorial. If this video was helpful for you, don't forget to click the like buttons and don't forget to subscribe. Also, the link of this guide will be in the description. See you in the next video update.